what it is. You know, salesmanship, have a nice day, you know, howdy and all that. Trouble is, of course, we're British and it doesn't quite gel. Do you know what I mean? No, we should have our own restaurant and we should be proud of it. We should have like crappy old Mondays. <laughs> you know, you walk in, some bloke comes up to you and goes like that. Hey! <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Not much, I hope. <laughs> so when I went to the other, the happy eater, that well, miserable as fuck. You walk in the happy, there's a woman behind the counter going like that. <laughs> Don't ask for chips! <laughs> ah, fucking hate chips. Chips with this, chips with that. Chips with me, I doubt. I'm going to stick my hand in a deep fat fryer in a minute. <laughs> I think I should have a sign outside saying, I think everything's going to be alright. Eat her. With a face like that. So, oh, clank, clank, clank. <laughs> so the one I went to the other day, oh, the, uh, the little chef, little chef, well, grease, roadside calf, oh, man, there's a bloke in there going like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> grease everywhere. So, uh, uh, right, give us your hand, I'll slide you down. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Shut out your order, because I'll never make it back. Give you a knife and fork, it's slipping out your hand. I go, use your knife and fork. You go, <laughs> no, no, they talk to you in lard bubbles. They go, ah, <laughs> what are you having? <laughs> Nightmare. Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> what's, what's his name? What's his name? Jed. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> Luke, don't go to the toilet, Luke. Oh dear. Is he gone? Where's he gone? Where's it? Oh, fuck, he's in the time, isn't he? When ages ago, didn't he? He's on the toilet and they're going. Ah! Ah! What's his second name? Jed. Exodus. Jed Exodus. Oh, so the vicar said. Never on a Thursday. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Dunno, hi, hi. Hi, Jed. <laughs> so you had Exodus piss you wanted to get rid of, so that's nothing wrong with that. Jed Exodus. <laughs> Sounds like he's going to go and get changed in a phone box, isn't it? Watch out for Jed Exodus. <laughs> I am the pisser. <laughs> I can fill a low in no time. But uh, you were aged in there. You were to change your bag. What's the matter with you, Jed? <laughs> but uh, he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sorry, sorry about Jed. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, Jed. He's like, ah, you fucking rude, bro. Fucking Exodus. But, uh, I reckon he's just gone off to solve a crime and he's come back. <laughs> he just ran out in the street with that. Never mind, lady. Get away from that woman and stop mugging her. <laughs> it's Pisser Jed. Exodus here. Okay, madam, you can go along your way. <laughs> but I was, uh, <laughs> sorry, Jed, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But uh, I don't know, it's like, uh, I, I, I sort of do uh, sort of go to these cafes and all that. I sort of do travel around. I travel, I don't know, it's like I flew for the first time uh, this year. I was, I was a nightmare flying. You know when you're flying, you kind of, like, because uh, it, it, first of all, I'm nervous and I hate being packed in in a, in a plane. You're kind of like, you're in a tube, you can smell another people's farts. It's like... <laughs> Kind of sat in like a battery hen, like you're eating your dinner off the bloke in front's head because he's come back. Still <laughs> 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 I'm starting to eat now. <laughs> I can't fucking stand it anymore. 
And this bloke next to me was on the plane for four hours. Well, after four hours, his breath, his breath. I mean, he was like interfering with radio waves. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Please face the other way. <laughs> You're melting my face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, stewardess! And the stewardesses, they, they're so smug, because we never fly, and they fly all the time. They're like, a stewardess will walk up to you, and they go like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know I am ugly. <laughs> and you are beautiful. <laughs> but please help us. <laughs> you know... Just, they always got the front behind the curtains. Have you noticed that? They always got the front and they always close the curtains. What, what are they doing up there? All right, as soon as they get the curtains, they close them like that and they go, that ah, loads of room. <laughs> I can run! <laughs> Even the pilots up front with them going, who cares if we cry? <laughs> Fuck the passengers! <laughs> Stewardess! <laughs> oh, yes. They come along, check your crutch. No, they say they're checking the seatbelts, but they're actually looking at your crutch. What's their eyes? They go along, go like, oh, crutch. Oh, crutch. <laughs> crutch. As soon as I get up to you, do this. Hiya. Or any go. Hey. They take you through the survival routine, do you know what I mean? And they've done it so often, they're bored of it. And we want to know what they're saying. They can put the thing over your head, pull the string, and the door, fuck off. <laughs> Oh, put the thing, pull the string like I got a little whistle. Yeah, yeah, shove off. Go on. <laughs> but we're not thinking that anyway. Because what we're thinking, I've got a granny in front of me. I could just elbow. There's a bloke there. I could just nut him and I'm at the fucking door. <laughs> Women and children first. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see all the blokes here going like that. Yeah? Yeah, you're hurling towards the floor at 400 mile an hour. You go like that. Go on, love. <laughs> You wouldn't do that at all. You go, fuck off, I'm fucking going. <laughs> where are you going, Frank? I'm fucking going without you. That's where I'm going. <laughs> so we get to the airport, right? And it's one of those air... Well, that sort of lands there, the airport. Where else would you land? Yeah, you know. So it lands at the airport. And it's one of those airports when the students sit at the front and they go, uh, just waiting for a bus. Well, waiting for a bus? <laughs> we're only waiting for a bus. We've just flown like 30 million miles. Now we've got to get on a bus? No, 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 no. The plane couldn't make it to the terminal. Oh, no, 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 no. You get to get on a fucking bus. <laughs> you've been on the bus at an airport, you get down the stairs, you get on the bus, it goes, and they go, Olaf! <laughs> I mean, I could have got on the back door and got the fucking front one. <laughs> he does a lot of mileage in a day, didn't he? That bloke had a hard day at work, didn't he? Yeah, got about eight foot today. <laughs> Up and down, you know. Oh. But you'll always find me on the motorway on the M1 going up somewhere trying to benefit or a gig or so. Always trying to do something. I don't know, it's weird. I sort of fell asleep at the wheel the other day, just slumped over the wheel like that. A taxi driver went, fuck, I'm trying to drive you, twat. <laughs>
life forms began to evolve into humankind. At long last, man strode the earth. Mm. And so did woman. <laughs> But the path of evolution was not smooth. Nature can be cruel, producing a freak disaster known as Chimpius Sweatius. He was the man that time forgot. While early man settles quickly and successfully, Chimpius Sweatius struggles to learn the basic survival skills, such as hunting. <coughs> The secret of fire. Finding a suitable mate. And inventing a new way to travel. Today, you, the audience, represent just how far early man has progressed. Incredible, isn't it? But what became of Chimpius Sweatius? It was thought that none of this species survived until now. So be warned, do not offer him food. Don't try to breed with him and definitely don't laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lee Evans. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming down. I really appreciate it. Oh, God. They always say don't panic, don't they, when there's a fire. But look at the bloke on the fire exit sign. Look, he's straight out the fucking door. Look at him. <laughs> Women and children first. Fuck off the back there, mate. I was just getting ready. Strange when you put your trousers on, isn't it? You start doing all that bopping up and down, you know? When you're trying to pull your trousers up, you start going up at the same time. <laughs> so you're trying to get out the fuckers as you're putting them on. I mean, you wouldn't put a hat on like that, would you, you know? <laughs> you know, these blokes always do that when they put their jacket on, they do all that extra, got me jackets on, got me jackets on, got me trousers on. Hey, where are you going? Funky town. <laughs> My wife always does that. Whenever we're going out the door, you know, whenever we're going out the door, do I need a coat? Do you think it's going to get cold later? Do you think it's going to, do I need a coat? Oh, 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 just a minute, love. As you can see by the isobars, just sweeping in from there. How the fuck do I know? What am I fucking met office? Oh no, women never take a coat out. No, no, no. They don't need one. No, they've already got one. It's lovely and warm. I should know. It's called fucking mine. Because you know when you're out and they start doing all that shit, you know? Ah, uh, 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 fuck. Do you want me coat, love? And they're going to their Titanic Kate Winslet on a piece of driftwood routine. No. Alright. Oh, yeah, love, have me coat. You know the one I brought out for me to keep me fucking warm. <laughs> And she never got the door. Not that face on. Oh no, no. Oh no, I'm not gonna have that door. That made I'm not that me face on. No, but fucking postman to knock on her door. Get that. I ain't got me face on. <laughs> you ain't got your face on. What? You lost your fucking face? <laughs> oh, you can't see a real face. Oh no, it's like living with Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> no. Don't look at my face. <laughs> And she fucks off upstairs to put her face on. Where are you going to play your organ? <laughs> <laughs>